Hi and welcome to a quick demonstration of the ArcSight Logger uh, 6 version uh, demonstration scenarios. Um, uh, here at HP we actually have a number of demonstration uh, scenarios. Uh, we call them use cases that, that we have that we can demonstrate the capabilities of the product and how you would use it and some simple scenarios uh, just to demonstrate the, the overall capabilities of the solution. Uh, this is the first one and uh, we're going to actually go talk about and demonstrate what we call lookup files and how they can be used as part of a, a, an investigation and searching capability within the within the logger solution itself so w without further ado i'm actually going to jump straight in and uh, start running through the demonstration so i've logged in uh, and hey presto the first thing we're actually delivered with is a very simple uh, dashboard view uh, just to search some generic information that, that, that we have so uh, I'm actually going to step through some various parts here. So first off, I'm going to jump to some some simple things, and I'll just talk about this this lookup files specifically. So hey, we have this capability just to type in some little bit of a match, and we jump straight to that bit of functionality. So hey presto, here's our lookup files. Uh, these are the ones that we've uh, previously defined, and we've actually added them to the system as a whole. And uh, we can see there's a whole whole bunch here. I'm actually going to pick on this one, malicious addresses. So we can just click on it. And what it does is it it displays the the, the the, the top 10 effectively in the list uh, we can see that there's actually a, an awful lot more in there uh, but the important thing here is that we have uh, not just a list of IP addresses for our, our malicious addresses we actually have a list of IP addresses uh, a category for these particular uh, threats and an overall scoring priority this is actually part of the the HP security research data set that we have that we make available through uh, our reputation and threat uh, feed information as well so yeah, there's some data there there's actually quite a lot of data there so that's okay. Well, actually, let, let's let's start having a look at uh, some searching and some generic things that we can just very quickly start digging into. Now, the scenario we have is that we're actually a bit suspicious of some activity that we've seen on on port four four three to some of our servers. So we actually want to dig into this a little bit more, more detail. Uh, destination port equals 443. So we're interested in just doing a search. We're doing a field search here on this one, so we'll just quickly run that. Uh, and hey presto, we'll get a, a number of hits back with regards to some overall activities. Now, we actually see there's there's, there's not a, a direct impact of, of overall level of activity. We can see there's particular peaks of activity over this very short period that we have here. In this case, we're just doing 10 minutes. Uh, we can see there's a lot of data here, there's a lot of traffic accepted and so on. So wouldn't it be great if we can actually start overlaying some of this data uh, with understanding what's going on from uh, what we consider to be a, a threat uh, reputation uh, information here as well. So what we can do is we can just uh, load a filter. Uh, so we can click filters, predefined ones that we actually have here. Uh, it's actually a saved search we have here. Uh, and if I just scroll down to my uh, malicious lookup, so we're just doing a, a very simple search. Uh, load and close and, and hey presto it actually adds it into the search here we hit go and we do a, an overlay of the data that says anything that's a destination port 443 so SSL type activity uh, and in this case uh, we want to overlay that with the additional information what we're doing is we're actually overlaying this information from the list itself so we can see there's some additional stuff here so I can look at the products. Actually, I understand there's a whole bunch of different products here that, that we, we're getting the log data from. Uh, we can look at the categories uh, that we're seeing as well. There's only two categories here, but most of this data is actually coming from uh, what we have categorized as malware and botnet activity. And then we can actually look at the overall scoring. So uh, what kind of priorities are we seeing here? Not massively high priorities, but something that we need to consider. Uh, so we can see there's, uh, there are some peaks here as well. And what's the IP addresses we're seeing? So actually, whoa, well, yeah, here we go. The vast majority of our data is actually appearing onto this particular IP address. The, the, these uh, fields and views here are actually being automatically generated for us. So actually, I can just click on that. And what it will do is it will add in that additional uh, click through for the search and just give me the data where the IP address is, is that particular. So we can see all this additional data and all this additional information and log uh, data we can see as well. So suddenly we can start very quickly digging into that traffic and understanding why we're seeing some peaks of activity, why we're seeing some of this impact of uh, on, on port 443, and more importantly how that matches uh, with some malicious and threat uh, IP address information we have. That's okay, but wouldn't it be good to be able to display this in a, in, a, in a graphical view to give us a bit more visual uh, prompting for, for the information that we can see. 
So again, rather than me typing it, I'm actually just going to load a, uh, another uh, search for this one. So it's another save search. Uh, if I just scroll down, it's called malicious chart. And there it is. I uh, load and close. It's a little bit more sophisticated here. There's some additional stuff going on. So we're looking it up. We're looking on the on the table itself. Still port 443 here. Uh, we're doing some additional things to do with uh, categorization. So we're, we're not parsing the data. An important thing here is that you can see some data here. But I'm not using reg regular expressions. I'm actually using the fields. I'm using the normalized and, and categorized data. In fact, you can see that here. Uh, we're, we're actually describing the data and understanding it. I don't have to do regular expressions. And that's the critical thing. I don't have to start messing around with that. So I click Go. And hey presto, I'll get a nice little chart which will break it down in a priority basis going down from the most frequent to the least frequent here. It's just the top 10. I could actually make it a bigger chart as well. Where the IP addresses are, what kind of uh, outcomes, what kind of data, where is it source and destinations. And there's a table underneath here I can see and break it down further. So we can see some of the data hasn't actually passed through various, uh, uh, you know, uh, in this case a, a web server or through our um, uh, firewalls uh, but some of it has actually been attempted and actually there is some success here so the important thing is we actually probably need to be digging into that a bit further so these are, are considered to be a threat this is just a limited data set and, and as you can see we've only got a very limited amount of data here that we're looking at it's a demonstration if we had significantly more data here we may want to for example export this to do some further analysis um, I'm not actually going to carry this out but I want to show that how easy this is to do so we can actually export that data we can put it into a different formats uh, actually take all the data include all the uh, the data that we've seen in the search and just export that and do some further processing and and visualization if we choose to uh, but in this case I, I'm, I'm not actually going to worry about it for here so that's okay. <clears throat> now what we want to do is, is dig into a little bit further uh, around some of this and, and, and see what uh, what we've got here. Uh, of course I can change some of the ways the layout of this. I could make this for example rather than a column I can just quickly make that a pie chart uh, and save all the settings accordingly. Uh, make it 10 or 20 or whatever I want from the view. Uh, the important thing is here we, we can define this. Now this is just a search but the great thing is actually I, I could set this uh, to be uh, some additional information we want to present for example in the dashboard. So uh, I can actually I can click the dashboard view there or I can just do uh, dash here and it takes me straight to the dashboards. And the dashboards you can have a, a number of sets here. So in this case we have the security dashboards. Uh, so there's a whole number of things broken down by uh, users and authentication and so on. So again, uh, this is probably something I want to be looking at. Uh, for example, here that the test user has been <laughs> number of failed logins uh, disproportionate. So I probably need to be looking into this and digging down. Of course, I could just click that and do some further investigation. But I'm going to carry on from what I'm doing at the moment. I just look at my top malicious activity uh, and click and go through there and, and, and we see another set of uh, dashboard panels here just letting it refresh and hey presto doesn't that look just like that search that we did before and that's the important thing here is, is actually when we've done that search we can create and craft and view the data we want to and if we want to position that in the dashboard absolutely it's as simple as saving that uh, and putting it into the dashboard itself and we can even change the format of this dashboard and different panels and layouts uh, and the view here so we've just made it very simple and straightforward just to see what's going on it gives us a very quick snapshot of the malicious activity and there's our pie chart we can click the various parts and if I click that important thing is it drills down and I can see in this case I've drilled down on a particular source and destination pairing where the outcome uh, is a failure and uh, it's come from the Apache system and now we can see some further data as well so that's great and that's really useful and you know we've been able to drill into our port 443 activity and understand what's going on in a very simplistic and very straightforward manner just by making some clicks rather than having to write some regex and try to hack through the data accordingly. Uh, it is li literally just as simple as it looks. Just a final couple of quick part comments around some of the little nice th features that we have within the, the system to make it easy. Uh, there's a couple of little shortcuts we can do uh, so we can just quickly do that and it actually gives us uh, what we call the saved searches. So it gives us a list of, of all the previous saved searches that we've had. Uh, so in this case uh, I can just look at my failed logins. Uh, click the go button and hey presto it's actually going to give me uh, a very simple view and chart of uh, where are my failed logins coming from by product so again I'm seeing a vast number coming from my Unix systems so again I can click and drill through very simple and straightforward from that point of view uh, and of course there is other little 
tricks and, and, and uh, tactics we can use. We can even do uh, what this one is, a uh, filter. Uh, so it gives me a list of the, of the filters that we previously used uh, and hey presto we can see there's all sorts of here uh, but let's have a look at uh, everything that we've uh, dropped at the firewall basis uh, and then hit go and there's all our firewall traffic quite a lot more data there lots of information that's been dropped uh, where is it coming from well we can see there's lots of different firewalls in the infrastructure uh, what kind of ver even down to what versions we're seeing as well so uh, a very quick view and step through of uh, using uh, the lookup list capability mapping that with some existing log data that we have doing some very simple searches and more importantly clicking through and drilling down into that data to understand in a very very simple scenario of some unusual traffic that we've seen on our port 443 uh, and actually being able to visualize and map that against some lookup lists accordingly. So that's uh, demo scenario one for the uh, HP ArcSight Logger 6 uh, demonstration scenarios. Uh, thank you very much for your time.